Hello there, today is the 15th of the 11th, 2007. I've received my Xylotech 4 Axis controller board today with um, some other stepper modes which are, I think it's unipolar instead of bipo bipolar, which is what, what I, ha I did have on. So um, I've just decided to switch them over, it was just easier. So that's why the handles aren't on the backs of the steppers at the moment. But to uh, um, using the, the keys on the keyboard, I'm just going to um, jog the, the milling machine around. So here we go. Let's take the Z axis back up. It can be run at faster steps than this. But to uh, I mean, as I'm operating it by hand, I don't want to do that and have it whiz up dead fast. There's no end stops yet, because I haven't connected up the um, micro switches, so I'm just watching for the end there. That's, that's about me lot, I think, yeah, that's fully up. And then, uh, let's uh, swing the table one way and the other. Do, 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 do. Like I say, there's no end stops at the moment. And the software end stops haven't been set up, so I'm judging where to stop at the moment. Okay, let's fully across that way. Do 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 do. The fourth axis is uh, not CNC controlled yet. But, as you can see, there's depot motors there for it. Just got to take the handle off and mount that on. Quite pleased, this performs so much better than the original controller board which I was going to use. Um, so, for anybody out there wishing to convert their milling machine, um, I would go for a Xylotech. Oops, sorry. I'd go for a Xylotech, no problems at all. I've got a... Um, alter the gib that's under there by the way to allow for that that extra swing okay so that's all the way that way oh wrong way so bring it across the other way that's right the Y the Y keys you have to press in reverse because obviously as you're plusing it you're bringing it towards you you see so when I'm pushing up to plus Obviously, it's not going the way that I'd expect it to, so... There we go, let's bring the table backs and forwards. It's difficult, difficult for me to judge on this one where to stop. There we go. Let's stop there to take it all the way back. I'm well pleased with this. This is well cool. So I'll get the fourth axis up and running, and then I'll get and rig up. Oops! Then I'll get and rig up um, a tool change carousel. Okay. So. There you go. Kidoki. So that's a converted Sieg X2 using the CNC Fusion kit number four with the uh, extra preloaded ball screws. Okay. Thanks.